Hello, I'm the Budget Modder and this is episode 13 of my Wing Nut Wing Sop with Dolphin build. Today, we're going to be finishing off with attaching the lower wings to the fuselage. So, let's wind up the speedy uppy thing and crack on with that. Well, that didn't take long, did it? This speedy uppy thing doesn't half help, doesn't it? Anyway, on to the prop. What I'm going to do is firstly mask it up, then I'll give it a quick base coat of desert yellow. There's the prop done, let's pop that to one side. Now we can carry on with the pilot. We shouldn't be, but I am. Um, I've already primed him in black and given him a zenithal highlight that's spraying the white from above and up to about a 20 degree angle from the vertical. This highlighted some scene lines as well, which I'm just cleaning off now. Here, I'm going to be using Citadel's Flayed One Flesh Colour for his face. There we go, that's his face and hair done. Next, I'm gonna do his gloves. I'm using my homebrew here. I'm using mahogany with a couple of drops of white in it. it does a great job of simulating leather or wood. So let's crack on with that. Ooh, uh, look at me remembering to do a show and tell to the camera. Anyway, I'm pretty chuffed with how well those gloves have come out. What do you think? Now it's time to give him a bit of a five o'clock shadow. I'm doing this by using the base flesh color with a little bit of gray mixed in just to simulate the stubble. There we go, that's done. So now a quick show and tell of the face and the pilot. Now to paint his uniform. I'm using Revel's khaki for this, so let's get this cracked. What I do on my figures is I thin the paint right down until it's practically a glaze. I found this to be a quick and dirty way to get the best results and not spending hours on getting the highlights right. With it being a glaze, it colors the white from the zenithal highlight for you.
There we go, a nice job, even if I say so myself. A quick check to make sure I've not missed anything and onto his hat. There we go, that's his hat done. Now, onto his scarf. This will just be a thin wash of white. So there's his scarf done, and guess what? Yep, you've guessed. After checking to see earlier if I missed anything, once it had dried, I found some spots that needed a quick touch up. Oi, quite in a cheap seats. A quick touch up on his uniform. So let's get those done. There we go, that didn't take long, did it? Now, let's get the rest of the lower wing glued to the orifice. As you know, I earlier glued the front part of the lower wing to the fuselage. That's now dried, so it's time to tackle the back part. With this, I've decided to glue one side, let that dry, then glue the other side. So, let's crack on with that. There we have that side glued. We'll pop that to one side, let it dry. So while that's drying, let's get the ailerons off the sprue, tie it and cleaned up and glued into place. So with the help of the speedy uppy thing, this shouldn't take too long. Told you it wouldn't take long. That's the upper wings done. Now to tackle the lower wings. Whilst the glue is still setting. Okay, here goes. Wish me luck. There's the ailerons glued into place. Not a bad fit. Now let's put the dark wood glaze on the prop. This doesn't need to be perfect. The more brush strokes, the better. The more it looks like wood. But keep the brush strokes in the same direction. Don't go across. That now needs to go to one side to dry. Then we can put an orange clear coat on it. Now I'm going to be fitting the tail plane, so let's crack on. Mm -hmm. 
That's the tail plane glued in place. Now to move on to finishing off gluing the lower wing to the orifice. There we go, that's glued and clamped into place. Now to get on with masking off the rudder, ready for the colours. I've already done the white as it's in a rattle can, so let's get this masking cracked. To help, I have a metal measuring board. I picked this up from AliExpress for about a fiver. Guess what? Yep, I broke one of the struts on the side of the rudder. Vroom. Damn you thin plastic. Anyway, better get it glued back on. There we go, that's masked up, fixed and put to one side. So this seems like a good place to end episode 13. Thank you very much for watching. If you like what you see, please subscribe to my channel, help it grow. Get the message out there to as many modelers as possible. Like the video and ring my bell. Remember folks, stay safe, keep on modelling.